Welcome and uh, thanks for joining us for another episode of Road Trip JA. This is your host, Dr. A, who will be taking you on a journey through the terrain of the new construction of the centimus leg of uh, the South Coast Highway. For this video cast, we will be having two variations, one in which you can listen to me annotate and guide you along the journey, or another in which you can listen and enjoy the background music. You choose if you desire to watch the video in which you can enjoy the background music and visualize and annotate on your own, click the link to the right of your screen. If not, continue on this journey with us as we get active on Road Trip JA. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe as we do this for your visual pleasure, keeping you in the know. Our starting location is at the Harborview Roundabout, and I remember when this road was being built, the government of Jamaica had leaned it away from the school, Donald Quarry High School, the government properties, so that when the rain falls, the engineering design would cause the road to protect the property owned by the government. However, those on the other side would have been compromised. And so said, uh, so done with that tilting, the community through which the road was built got flooded. But let us see if the government will do uh, better in this new project. And as you can see, a lot of development and expansion will be taking place. The road currently has two lanes in either direction. This is uh, our previous drive through theater, which seems to no longer be in operation. Now we're seeing some development starting in which if you can look closely to the periphery on the right and on the left, you will realize that there are some walls being built. The reason for the construction of these walls is because the road will be widening even a little bit more, which means that a lot of business establishments in these areas will be demolished or their space will be reduced. And if you're asking me if they will be compensated, the answer is yes, at least some of them will be compensated. I had a message in my inbox and it was asking me, is this road going to be a toll road? We're going to have to answer that question in a little bit. But as we look across we are seeing where the road used to be. They are now working on that area. Where the gas station used to be. No, this is the area that we have to be driving on.
what will happen in the long term is that a lot of persons will have to be relocated a lot of businesses will be demolished in preparation for the road and the road work the drive from Harperview to St. Thomas is quite a turbulent terrain under these circumstances yes the road was bad before but with the road construction it is even worse in a few moments we'll be seeing uh, uh, active construction taking place and a demolishing exercise taking place as well As you look to the extreme periphery, as we see the building being demolished, you can see new walls being erected at the same time, which means that all those buildings which were on the front now have to be pushed back or sections of them have to be cut off. It is one of those things that brings to a realization that indeed you buy a piece of land you think that it is yours, you have the rights to it, but the government can come in at any time and say, hey, we need that land and take it away from you. It comes for us now to ask ourselves the question, why is it that we pay tax for the land that we actually own or allegedly own? Do we truly even own the land that we are paying for? It's like having a phone. You bought the phone and every year you have to pay the manufacturer for the phone that you already bought that is yours. But the manufacturer is saying, no, 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 this phone is not yours. It belongs to us, even though you bought it from us. So you have to pay us as long as you are keeping it. It's just something to think about. But let us continue as we explore. This area of Bull Bay has experienced a lot of flooding from time to time. So people on either side have to be very careful. And it is a swamp area as well, especially during the rainy season. It's now June, so let us see what will happen when August steps in. We're just a few moments away from the Bull Bay police station. And this police station will have to be relocated. But before we get there, let us slow down a little bit to see what is happening prior. I want you to look to the right of the screen. And you will see walls being built inward away from the road. And if you look to the left, you'll see markation of demolishment requirement. So yes, the light posts will have to be removed by some feat of engineering. Now, as we approach a police station, we see that it is obstructing the path of the new road development and networking, which means that that too has to be removed. I am saying that had we had adequate planning, then indeed all of this would have been calculated for. This is like a double spending because of poor planning and execution.
Thou were entering Bull Bay, St. Thomas, after leaving Bull Bay, St. Andrew. I should let you know that a report article indicated that the budget of this project has already been exceeded, which is nothing new in Jamaica. We expected that this budget would have uh, been overrun. The government seldomly sticks to the budget. This project will bring uh, development to a degree, yes, to St. Thomas and its community. However, it will also facilitate the displacement of those who are in the minority, those who may have set up systems in place based on the planning that was done prior. And yes, some communities will be circumvented, especially that of the Grand Spin community, as we will see in a little while based on the road construction design. journey to St. Thomas from Harborview, Albion, that stretch should be about 15 minutes. Under ideal road condition, driving at about 50 kilometers per hour. However, it takes 45 minutes. But today, our journey should take us about uh, 20 minutes, plus or minus. Uh, I have driven on this road before, and uh, I am using working memory which makes it a little bit more efficient and uh, the, the fact that we have to contend with traffic and vehicle in front of us and we don't want to speed too much on the, these roads especially because they're not that ideal had it been night then it could have taken us a little less time because lights gives us a signal and then indeed the working memory the subconscious would be used to drive we don't drive in the conscious at night time that is why i always advise new drivers to practice in driving right for first time, use indicators, use your turn signals, so that your, your body, your mind becomes aligned with doing what is right. So even when you're not fully alert, your body will still operate on the, the training that it has been given. But I want to advise everyone to drive safe on these roads.
Okay, so now we're moving down to Albion Heights and I want you to look to the right of the screen and you will realize that uh, they are working on expansion as the road work is taking place way over to the right. I want to get a better picture. In the next video, I will get you a better picture, better visual so you can understand what is happening. And we also should be going through some... Uh, news articles in our next episode this is our june update and we're continuing down the terrain as we approach grand span And many persons have asked me if this road will be a toll road. The answer that we have so far from the government indication is that it will not be a toll road. But many people are saying, can we really trust the government? I am going to be honest with you. I have no idea if you should trust each government. However, I have never taken what the government say at face value. Because... Uh, parties powers rule with an intention to garner support not necessarily out of authenticity out of truth they tend to tell the people what they want to hear and not necessarily what is but if there is going to be a toll there has to be an alternative currently we don't have an alternative so ideally a toll road cannot be in place where there is no alternative or bypass however that doesn't mean that the government could not now create some alternative. But let us take their words as is at this time until they have proven us otherwise. If you look, we will be traveling on that road, the mall road pretty soon. Just to see how that section is so far. I will try to drive a utility vehicle which can climb those terrains before it is completed. If we look to the right of the screen, we're going to be seeing uh, that they're also working on that section of the road to merge or to have another derivative of the road. So based on this design, it could be a network of roads that will be here. I'm still trying to get my hands on the blueprint of the exact schematic to see all the communities that will be circumvented, especially that of Grand Span, which uh, the news indicates that indeed they will be circumvented. And in order to get back to Grand Span, you will have to travel from Albion down towards Grand Span. You'll not be able to quite see it clearly, but in time we will see exactly. So they're raising the road here and they're going to be merging it to the one that goes through the hills. So instead of having so much wind, it will be more a straight road. So all this is the elevation of the road. So what I'm anticipating is that those persons on the right side will be experiencing a great deal of flooding. But the good thing about the proximity of the those on the right to the sea is that it is pretty close. So most of that water will be running straight 
over into the community, flooding that out and then going into the sea thereafter. But hopefully by that time, enough persons have been relocated so they don't have to be flooded. We're now almost at our destination, approaching the Albion community. In our next segment, we will be providing more information, more updates, more highlights as to what the media has to say, what the Office of the Prime Minister is saying about the construction work in articles as we explore this developmental project. Until next time, thanks for joining us. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Please do have yourself a beautiful day and enjoy let us get active road trip ja